Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In the previous video, we have talked about one-way data binding in Angular as property and event bindings. And in today's video, you're gonna learn how to do two-way data binding in Angular with a special directive called ng-model. Before we begin, if you are here for the first time, to learn more about web development, consider subscribing to my channel and activate your bell, so when I upload a new video, you will get notified. As you recall from the last video, we could either transfer data from component to view with property binding or from view to the component by event binding. There is also a third way in Angular which allows us to transfer data in both directions at the same time without using property and event bindings separately. And the third way is called two-way data binding. Two-way data binding basically transports data both from component to view or from view to the component at the same time. And we can do this with a special directive called ng-model. And now let's see how to use it in an example. In some cases, using two-way data binding might be necessary. For example, consider that we want to give users the ability to write their own title. And we can do that by using an input field. So when a user types something here, this title will be updated. Now when I delete this and type here something new, we see that nothing changes. This is because the title variable is binded to the input field with property binding. And as you recall from the previous video, property binding sends data from the component to the view in a one direction way. So we also need to use the event binding to update this title variable in the component. So let's say key up dot enter. So when the user clicks the enter button, it should update the title variable. And to do that, we need to get the actual title variable from the value property. And we can do this by dollar event attribute, which targets the value attribute. And when something changes here, we should also see that this title will get updated. So let's try it. Let's delete this and type here my new title and click enter. Okay, now as we can see, it has worked because we have used both property and event bindings. However, this approach is not a good approach because it turns our code into a messy code, which we can write it in a much cleaner way. And here comes the special ng-model directive into play, which allows us to use two-way data binding and basically does everything what the property and event bindings do. So let's clear this code and use the ng model directive instead. First of all, like we do in the property binding, we use brackets. Then inside the brackets, we need to use parentheses inside the brackets, like the parentheses in event binding. And finally, we write ng model. Now, if this syntax looks confusing to use, there is a term called banana in the box, which helps us easier to remember the ng model syntax. Finally, what we need to do is to assign the ng-model property into our title variable. And now let's see what happens. Okay, now when we check our terminal, we see that an error happens and says can't bind to ng-model because it is an unknown property of input. You know that Angular is a framework which has multiple modules inside it. And we don't call all of the modules at the beginning of our project because it makes the project much heavier and larger. And this error happens because the angel model directive is inside the Angular forms module. So to use the angel model directive, we always need to add the forms module into our, into our app. So let's do this. All right, so now I am in the app module, in the main app module file. And as we can see on the main app module, there are some other modules here as browser module and routing modules and they are imported and they are imported under the imports here. Now inside the imports, we need to add a new model, which is the forms module. So firstly, I need to import the forms module from Angular forms, exactly. And then I need to register it here inside the imports. Okay, now I have imported our forms module and as we can see the error is gone by the way you don't have to memorize them you can find if you can't remember anything you can find them all under the documentation of angular 
Now let's go back in the browser, reload again. So let's change this. And as we can see, it's gone. And I can write here my new title. And as we can see, it's working perfectly. Without using any property or event bindings, we have made it work. So just let me reload this again. So at the beginning, we have our title property is binded directly inside the input field with ng model. And when I delete this, it's also automatically deleted. And when I write here a new title, it updates the title property and also updates the string interpolation here. So this is how the angel model works as a two-way data binding. If you find this video useful, please hit the like button and thank you guys for watching.